Hello, my name is Ram and welcome to another video of Matuklasan. Two or more sets can be combined in many different ways. For instance, in a classroom of 45 students, some have Facebook account, some have Instagram account, and some have both. We can form the set of students who has Facebook or Instagram accounts. The set of students who has both Facebook and Instagram account. Or the set of all students who does not have Facebook. And we can find the sets I mentioned if we know the different kinds of set operations. Given sets A and B, the set theoretic operators are union, intersection, difference, complement, and symmetric difference, giving us a new sets A union B, A intersection B, A minus B, complement of A, and A symmetric difference B. The union of the sets A and B is the set that contains those elements that are either in A or in B or in both. In symbols, it's A union B is the set containing X such that X is an element of A or X is an element of B. Union is just like addition. All you need to do is to combine all the elements. So here, in the Venn diagram, the shaded yellow region here is the representation of A union B. So, kung babalikan natin yung mga students kanina, ang union ay lahat ng students na merong Facebook o kaya Instagram. While the intersection of the sets A and B is the set containing those elements in both A and B. In symbols, A intersection B is a set containing X such that X is an element of A and at the same time an element of B. So, in the intersection, we just need to identify the common elements between the two sets. So, in this Venn diagram, the yellow shaded region here where set A and B overlaps is the intersection of the two sets. So, going back to the Facebook and Instagram scenario, the set of students who have both Facebook and Instagram is the intersection. If A and B have no common elements, they are said to be disjoint. And in symbols, A intersection B is an empty set. So notice here in the Venn diagram, the two circles do not overlap. Therefore, there are no common elements between sets A and B. And let's try these examples. In number 1, we need to get the union of these two sets. So, as I mentioned a while ago, in union, all you need to do is to combine all the elements. So, I'll just write 1 here. The next is 2. The next is 3. And I'll just get the remaining elements on the second set. But since 3 was already written here, then the next element should be 4. While the last element to be written is 5. And this is now the union of the two sets in number 1. Now, how about the second given? We need to get the intersection of these two sets. So all we need to do now is to identify common elements. And in this case, the only common element between the two is 3. So the intersection of these two sets is the set containing 3. How about in number 3? Oh, huwag kayong matatakot kasi nagkataon lang na yung unang set na nakikita nyo dito ay merong element na set din. Pero dalawang sets lang naman ang pinag-uusapan dyan. This set on the left and this set on the right. So therefore, all I need to do when I get the union is to write all the elements of the two sets. I'll start with 1, followed by 2. Now, since 1 and 2 are already written, I'll skip this 2 here. So, the next number that I'll get is 
3. But how about this set? Remember guys that this is just an element of the given set. So therefore, I just need to write it as it is. Nagkataon lang na set siya, pero element lang din siya ng set natin, ng main set natin. Now, ano na lang natitira? Yes, ito na lang ang natitira. So, yan ang huli nating isusulat sa ating union. And this is now the final answer for number 3. In number 4, let n be the set of natural numbers. Ano ba yung mga natural numbers? Mga counting numbers, right? Like 1, 2, 3, 4, etc. E paano naman yung mga integers? Okay, yung mga integers ay mga negative numbers like negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, pwede rin namang 0, pwede rin namang 1, 2, 3, and so on. So, basta walang decimal, ay mga integers. Ngayon, ano ang intersection ng set N at ng set Z? Notice that all these numbers or elements are all in this set. Correct? So, meaning N is just a subset of integers. So, therefore, sa Venn diagram, itong itsura ng Z at saka ng N. Ngayon, paano natin kukunin yung union? Di ba sa definition kanina, pinakita natin na yung union ay nakukuha natin pag sinishade natin yung dalawang sets. So, pag sinade ko tong dalawang to, mapapansin nyo, ang set lang na buong shaded ay yung set Z. So, therefore, the answer here is Z or set Z. Now, how about number 5? Set of natural numbers and empty set. Meron bang intersection ng mga natural numbers at empty set? Well, kung babalikan natin yung kanina, mga natural numbers ay mga counting numbers lang. At kailangan nating kuha na ng common elements itong empty set at saka itong mga natural numbers. May common ba sa kanila? Wala naman, di ba? So, meaning, the intersection of these two sets, it's just an empty set. Or pwede rin yung ganitong symbol, right? Now, going back to the set operation, the difference of A and B denoted by A minus B is the set containing those elements that are in A but not in B. So, A minus B in symbols is the set containing X such that x is an element of A, but x is not an element of B. So here, in the Venn diagram, the shaded yellow portion is the representation of A minus B. In the Facebook and Instagram scenario, kung tatanggalin natin lahat ng merong Instagram, ang matitira ay set na puro Facebook lang ang meron. Next is the complement of a set. The complement of the set A is the complement of A with respect to U. Therefore, the complement of the set A is just U minus A. So, lahat ng wala kay A na na kay U ay ang complement set. Kaya dito sa Venn diagram natin, ang shaded portion ay lahat ng nasa labas ng set A. Now, let's try these examples. Let A be the set containing 1, 2, 3 to 10 and B a set containing 3, 5, 7, and 9. We need to find A minus B. So, all we need to do to find A minus B is to subtract all the elements of B in A. So, ibig sabihin, kung si A ay merong 3, tatanggalin natin siya. Bakit? Kasi si B ay merong 3. Kung si A ay merong 5 dito sa gitna, tatanggalin natin yon kasi merong 5 si B. Kung si A ay merong 7, obviously meron dito, tatanggalin ko rin yung 7 dahil si B ay merong 7. Tatanggalin din natin yung 9 kasi si B ay merong 9. So, ano na lang ang natitira sa A? 1, yes, 2, 
4, 6, 8, and 10. So, this is now the difference of set A and B. Eh, kung balik ta rin kaya natin, let's try B minus A. So, what should we do here? Okay, kung titignan natin, nagbaliktad, so ang tatanggalan natin ng elements ay yung set B. At ang elements si set A ay numbers from 1 to 10. So therefore, tatanggalin ko lahat itong 3, 5, 7, and 9 kasi si A ay meron lahat nito. So ano na lang ang natitira kay B? Yes, the answer here is empty set. Kasi kinuha na lahat ni A kung anong meron si B. Ouch. Okay, number 3 naman. Let you be this set and y is the set containing x and lp. Now, we need to find the complement of y. Remember guys that if we're getting the complement of y, it's just like subtracting set y from the universal set u. Okay? So, ang gagawin ko lang Tanggalan ko lang si letter U or set U ng X, N, L, at saka P. So, tatanggalin ko yung X, N, L, at P dito sa set U. So, ano na lang natitirang elements ngayon kay U? Yes, M, A, T, and H. And this is now the complement set. Now, let's try number 4. Let A be the set of positive integers greater than 10 with universal set, the set of all positive integers. Okay. So, if we're going to identify the elements of set A, they are positive integers greater than 10. So, we will start with 11, right? Because it's greater than 10. Followed by 12, 13, and so on. So, I'm going to use ellipsis. Now, how about the elements of U? It says here that the universal set is the set of all positive integers. So, we represent it using Z for the integers and we put the plus sign here to indicate that they are all positive. But if you want to specify the elements, sandali lang naman yun. Start with 1, which is the highest positive or rather lowest positive integer, followed by 2, 3, 4, and so on. Again, we need to find the complement of A. So, finding the complement of A is just like subtracting set A from universal set U, right? So, ibig sabihin, magma-minus tayo dito. Ano naman ang kailangan nating i-minus? Simple lang. So, tatanggal lang ko lang si letter U or set U. Ba't ba nga ba ako letter U ng letter U? Set U ay tatanggalan ko ng 11, 12, 13, and so on. So, ibig sabihin, yung mga 11 to 12, 13, at to positive infinity ay nasa right side ng set na to. So, ano na lang ang matitira sa universal set natin? Yes, all the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, hanggang saang value? Yes, hanggang 10. Kasi natanggal na yung 11, 12, 13, and so on. And this is now the complement of set A. The last operation in our list is the symmetric difference. This is a special type of operation because what we do here is we remove this intersection of the union of sets A and B. We read this as A, symmetric difference B. And sometimes this symbol is represented by a triangle. Now, going back to my point a while ago, if you want to get the symmetric difference of the two sets, all you need to do is to get the union of A and B. And afterwards, you subtract the intersection of these two sets. Okay, bakit ko nga ba naisip yun? Eh kasi nga, kapag lahat ito ay sinade natin, 
yun ang in union ng A tsaka B. Pero pag tinanggal ko yung gitna, which is the intersection of A and B, ang matitira ay yung kabila ang shaded region dito. And that's the symmetric difference of A and B. In the previous scenario, we can get the set of symmetric difference if we will remove students having both Facebook and Instagram accounts. So what is left now are the exclusive users of Facebook and exclusive users of Instagram. How about I just show you the shortcut using these examples? Okay, so if I need to get the symmetric difference of set A and B here, all I need to do is to look at these two sets. And what I need is the intersection of these two. Ano nga ba yung intersection? Okay, yung common elements nila. Yung common elements, yun ang isusubtract ko sa union ng dalawang sets na to. So all I need to do now is to remove common elements from these two sets. And yun na yun. Lahat ng matitirang elements is the symmetric difference of A and B. So in this example, I'll get 1. 2 was removed, so... I'll write here 3. Uh, 4 was removed also, so I'll write 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Easy, right? Now, how about the symmetric difference of B and C? Again, I will look at these two sets. Look talaga. Okay. So, anong common sa kanila? Tatanggalin natin. Ito, 4. Common sa kanila. What else? Okay, 2. Common sa kanila. Meron pa bang common? Wala na. So, ibig sabihin, lahat ng natira ay yung set or elements ng ating symmetric difference. So, in this case, I'll write 1 followed by 3. Next is 6 followed by 8. 5 and 10. Meron pa bang dinas ulit? Okay, kompleto na ang ating symmetric difference. We also have some theorems about symmetric difference. Let A and B be sets. Then, the symmetric difference of same sets is always an empty set. Bakit? Kasi nga, yung sekreto natin kanina ay inaalis natin yung mga common elements nila, di ba? Eh, since pareho lahat ng elements ng A at saka ng A dito, so therefore, walang matitirang element pag sinubtract na natin yung intersection nila. And symmetric difference are commutative. Meaning, A symmetric difference B is just equal to B symmetric difference of A. In the previous example, if our answer in the B symmetric difference C is this set, then it's the same if we will get the symmetric difference of C and B. And that's all for this video. For more math video tutorial, please subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell. Nang matuklasan ang ganda ng sim